Hello and welcome to Introducing C++ Builder Starter Edition. My name is Mike Roslog. You know, over the past couple of years, a lot of the community around C++ Builder and Delphi have been asking for a low-cost version of C++ Builder and Delphi. And I'm really excited today to be able to announce to you the introduction of C++ Builder Starter Edition. This is a low-cost introductory IDE for C++ Builder. It is targeted towards the hobbyists, beginning developers, and emerging markets. It's more than an editor, compiler, and debugger, as we're going to find out right now as we take a look at the Starter Edition. As you can see, we're in C++ Builder Starter Edition, and what I want to do is I want to come up into the File, New, and we're going to go into the Other, just to take a look at the Object Gallery that's part of it. As you can see, with the Object Gallery, we have things like console applications, static libraries, packages, BCL Forms applications, and MDI and SDI applications along with dynamic link libraries. We also have support for ActiveX controls and of course the other C components and C++ Builder components allow me to do data module, thread objects, header files, units, and forms. So we have a lot of things included with the starter edition and then of course we have the project group. What I want to do is I want to create a quick VCL application. So we'll go ahead and hit the OK button. Notice that we have the full, fairly full palette here of all the things we may want to do with the product. What I want to do is I want to come down into my Interbase Express components and I'm going to drop down a database component. I'm going to drop down a transaction component. And I'm also going to drop down a query component. Now what I want to do is I want to set all of the properties for these components. For the database one, I'm going to come in and I'm going to set my database. To do this, I'm going to go to my example database and I'm going to say open. Once I've done that, I'm going to now right mouse click on my component and go into the database editor. What this will allow me to do is set additional properties. My username is sysdba and my password is master key. And I'm also going to turn off the login prompt since I don't want to be asked for that when we run the application. And I'm going to press the OK. After I've done that, I'm now going to go ahead and connect to the database, which should return a check mark showing that the connection was successful. Next, I'm going to go into my IB transaction and set my default database to my IB database 1. And then I'm going to turn the active to true. The next thing I'm going to do is go into IB query and I'm going to set my database to IB database 1 and then I'm going to slide down to the SQL property. I'm going to click on the ellipse which will bring up the command text editor and now I'm going to take and display all of the things in the department. So I'm going to say select asterisk and when I click on department and say add table to SQL it will automatically add the from department for me. When I'm done with that I can go ahead and click the OK button. I'm then going to go up to the active property and click to true. This means that I have connection now to my database. Now let's go ahead and build the rest of the interface. I'm going to go up to the top inside of my tool palette and I'm going to open up my data access. I'm going to drop down a T data source and I'm going to set its data set property to IB query. Next I'm going to open up the data controls on my tool palette and I'm going to drop a grid and we'll make this fairly large and I'm going to also drop a navigator. We'll put on the form and then we will set its align property to top. Next we'll make the component just a little bit larger so it has a little bit nicer look and feel to it and then I'm going to connect those components to the data source. I'll pick data source 1 for the property and as you notice we have live data inside of our application. Next I want to go ahead and compile the application without debugging just to show you that it is running. So as you can see we have our database application running and we can go to next, forward, back and forth and so we've actually built a live database application connecting to an Interbase database using the Interbase Express tools right out of the box in a few short minutes. So in summary, C++ Builder Starter Edition currently sells for $199 new or $149 competitive upgrade. And that competitive upgrade includes everything from Eclipse, Notepad++, Visual Studio, or any other development environment. The product is 100% expandable, which means that you can load your favorite third-party tools into the product. And it also comes with Interbase Developer. That gives you 20 connections for your development needs. Now there are some limitations with the Starter Edition. C++ Starter Edition has a $1,000 US 
total revenue for the company and the product that you create using the starter edition. It has a limit of five users per subnet. That means that only five starter editions can be on the same network. There is no mixing of licenses. This means that you cannot have C++ Starter Edition and Delphi Starter Edition on the same box. If you want to run that way, you have to run one of them in a virtual machine. It also means that you can have Delphi Architect running on a machine and run C++ Builder Starter Edition on that same machine. If you need more than what's available in Starter Edition, we have awesome functionality available in Professional, Enterprise, and Architect. I want to thank you for listening. We're really excited about the C++ Starter Edition. And if you'd like to get a hold of this, please go to www.cbuilderxe.com. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.